Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Finn from Sims and Finn Chiropractic. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use a cervical traction device. When you have a subluxation of the spine, this creates abnormal movement, nerve interference, and also puts an increased load on the disc itself. Sometimes the disc can become injured. The disc is normally like a jam donut in that it has a casing on the outside and a soft jam-like substance in the middle. When the disc becomes damaged, it starts to break down. It can cause a bulging or a protrusion to one side, therefore irritating the nervous system. As chiropractors, we adjust and realign the spine to take the pressure off the nervous system and the disc. However, sometimes if there is disc damage, we may need to use a cervical traction device to take the pressure off the disc. It's a self-inflating device that you apply by attaching two small Velcro hooks at the front. Then you slowly inflate until you start to feel a slight traction in your neck. This is taking the pressure off the disc to help your body heal in a more timely manner. So once you feel the traction, you should stop. Put the locking device on the unit and maintain this position for 10 minutes. When you have the traction applied to your neck, it should feel quite relieving. If it hurts more or any increase of pain, stop. Take the unit off straight away and discuss it with your chiropractor. Any questions regarding using your cervical traction device or neck pain or headaches, please feel free to contact our practice.